Hey guys, Crucify Robin Hood here. Um, look, I was planning on making a video today, but I really wasn't planning on making this video. Um, but uh, circumstances have kind of forced my hand. Um, I don't know if anybody knows about this drama, but um, there's been some drama uh, in my chat room, and there's been some drama in Dutch's chat room involving um, clones using either Dutch Sense's name or Dutch Sense's real name, or Dutch Sense's ID. Um, I got a PM, hold on. And, uh, oh boy. And I, I tried to, uh, I tried to tell people in Dutch's chat that, uh, that I could show them who was cloning Dutch's name. And, uh, and that I had proof uh, who it was. Uh, I got a lot of shit over that. And um, actually, uh, uh, Bella Virgo uh, was uh, was kind of asking me questions about this shit um, because she was the first one to demand proof, right? <coughs> and um, and she was a real bitch about it. So I banned her from the mudroom, and she's convinced that some clone of my account is fucking with her. No, it's me. So anyway, I was talking <clears throat> I was talking to her in Dutch's chat. <coughs> and McPlayer saw the way that saw the way that this conversation was going. I think he knew that I was talking about him. <coughs> I'm not sure if he <clears throat> is aware of uh of some of the administrative tools I have in my chat room over on Chatsy, but uh the way it works in Chatsy is when you when you visit my room the first time um, Chatsy assigns you assigns your username what's called a UIP uh, Unique Identifier uh, uh, Pussy Block I don't know, UIP and every time you log in from the same IP like when you use the same intercon internet connection to come back into the chat room under a different username, I know okay, because your UIP comes up Everything else can be completely different, but your UIP will be the same. That will tell me um, that the person who originally logged in under this name is now logging in under that name. And generally, that's cool. I don't have a problem with people uh, changing their usernames. Uh, I do it a lot. Um, but I do have a problem with people impersonating other people. And uh, so I have a list of, of the people that are banned from the chat room right now pulled up on my screen. And uh, and I, I guess I'll just show you what's going on here. Okay, um, here's... I'm on widescreen, so it's kind of fucked up. Here's McPlayer999, or 9999, right? His UIP is number 31. There are, uh, like, uh, there are, like, 16 people banned from my chat room, right? And one two, three, four of them are not McPlayer. Okay? Everything you see here with UIP 31 is from McPlayer's internet connection. Okay? These are the names that McPlayer has logged in under. John Vidali, seven, hold on. I'm missing a couple here. Let me scroll down the rest of the way. Yeah. Okay, um, and it's interesting because uh, this is supposed to, this is supposed to uh, this is supposed to show back for like three months, ninety days, and it only goes back seventy-seven days. It's not showing his Dutch sense pseudonym, okay? But so uh, I've got the, I've got all this proof of all these pseudonyms that he's using. Um, I'm not going to lie to you that there was a Dutch sense pseudonym down here as well. But uh, Michael Janich was here 77 days ago from the United States, UIP number 31. John Vidali was here 75 days ago, United States, UIP 31. Still, uh, all of these are MC Players, uh, Internet Provider, uh, UIP that, uh, that Chatsy has assigned him. So I, I don't have access to anyone's Internet Provider, Addy at all. 
all I get is uh, is this um, is this UIP that Chatsy assigns. Now at this point, um, because my Google my Google uh, my Google password was stolen somehow, and that trips me out because nobody has that, um, and it's not a simple password, but it was stolen somehow, and uh, and I was blocked out of all my Google accounts. <coughs> By, uh, by, by a uh, an IP based in Belgium, okay, and uh, that's a whole different story, but um, I'll just uh, I'll just say that uh, there's a moderator in McPlayer's uh, chat room. I almost I almost made him a moderator here in my chat room too, but there's a moderator in McPlayer's chat room who's out of Belgium, and he's a very skilled computer technician. And he absolutely has the uh, has the capability of hacking into my shit um, because it was like a stolen password situation, and I was blocked out of my fucking Google accounts for several days. Um, there's like a Google investigation going on, and um, that shit's going to involve law enforcement. Uh, so because of that, I can't really get into detail over that. But going back to this UIP31 business, this is all I get to see, right? So I don't know what the IP is for McPlayer. So it's impossible for me to take this information and try to hack him. However, on the other hand, Chatsy does, right? And Chatsy is really good about this security shit, okay? So um, what's going on here is I have Chatsy looking into the activity represented by this UIP uh, 31 to, uh, to determine if any laws have been broken or any... Uh, any rules have been broken, any chassis rules have been broken. That's kind of a moot point because, um, because I, I, oh God, I, I had banned player over this shit and, uh, and then unbanned him because a lot of people missed him and I wanted those people to get a chance to see what kind of a shit bag he really was. So I unbanned him. He came back into my chat room. We started talking and he was just, he was just being this fucking teenage shit bag. I asked him very politely to just please leave my chat room. You know, don't make me ban you. Just please be a gentleman. I'm asking you to leave. Just go. And just like his moderator did, he refused to leave. So I ended up, I had to block his IP, right, so that he can't access my chat room from his IP anymore. Now, his moderator, his moderator was on a VPN based out of Belgium, right, so he was able to avoid my IP block. So his moderator actually hijacked my fucking chat room for several, like, for several hours. And I had to actually close down my chat room to get him disinterested enough to get the fuck out. But that's another story that I'll expand on later. But we got, uh, we got McPlayer in here with a Michael Janich alias. We got him in here with a Michael, v or John Vidali alias. We got uh, ASFK, whatever the fuck that is. That's another one of his aliases. Gabin15, that's another one of his aliases. VYXUCOF, he got kicked out 43 days ago, and that's interesting. I think maybe uh, another, another uh, like one of my moderators did that. I don't remember kicking out that person, but I very well may have. Um, it was 43 days ago, and I've slept since then, so fucking whatever. Here's Dork to Dork. He's using, he's using Dutch Sense's fucking uh, Yahoo fucking email address 31 days ago. UIP31, he's using Dutch Sense's email address as a fucking alias. So, yeah, this is this shit is what is what uh, caught my eye in the first place and really, uh, really made me pay attention to what's going on here. Uh, you might recognize this name here, right? In the middle there. Squeaks! Was here 28 days ago. Oh, am I on the right one? Yeah, 28 days ago. And that's UIP31. Um... Uh, let me see. McPlayer Feedmaster was here 25 days ago. UOP 31. Uh, let me see here. Uh, bup, 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 bup. Here we have uh, McPlayer 9999. A wrench bearer was here 10 days ago. UOP 31. McPlayer was here 9 days ago. UOP 31. These are all aliases he tried to use to get back into my fucking chat room or to actually get into my chat room. Um, but uh, as you can see, FS83 tried to enter five days ago. My IP block stopped that shit. Um, 
There's Bella, sweet Bella. Yeah, UIP 345. I'll know who Bella is no matter who she comes in as. And here's the last uh, the last visit from from player. He tried to enter 61 minutes ago after I blocked him again. So um, I, I, I don't know what it's going to take to convince you people, all right? Uh, but um, I got to tell you, there's a fucking snake in your midst. And this isn't the first time I've told you guys this. This isn't the first time I've exposed somebody like this and provided you the proof that you needed to look at them and realize what they were, what they were doing. Um, if anybody remembers Blazing Rift Games, there's a perfect example. Um, and there were dozens before that. Before I got my wrench in Dutch's channel, um, I, I was just slaying trolls and hackers fucking left and right. If you were around back then, you know what I'm talking about. Um, if you were in the chat room when I had a wrench and you saw what happened when we were bombarded with clone accounts and I actually asked everybody to stop chatting for 60 seconds so I could go through and fucking deal with these scumbags. Um, and everybody did too. That was very cool. That was back before the that was back before the chat room turned completely to fucking shit. So now I was just in Dutch's chat room a few minutes ago and uh, and uh, Bella Virgo was she's convinced that there's a hacker or a clone impersonating me right that somehow banned her from the chat room and somehow sent her this email in reply to an email she sent me at my email address because i don't hide my email address from anyone it's posted in the header of the mudroom anyone can find it go to chatsy type in hoods mudroom boom or ask a friend lots of people have links but uh but yeah, I also posted in chat today that the next unauthorized, uh, the next unauthorized use of my link 